Social Security Administration, how can help you? Yes, I'm returning a message. I got a voicemail about my Social Security number being misused. Uh, you received the voicemail, right? Yes. Okay, uh, sir, first of all, in order for me to go ahead and pull up your file, will you please verify me your name? My first name is Dwayne, D-U-A-N-E. And the last name? Devane, D-E-V-A-N-E, Dwayne Devane. Okay, and please verify me the last four number of your social. 3770. Thank you. Please hold the line. Let me pull up your file, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, sir, is there any middle initial name or it's only Dwayne Devane? It's only Dwayne Devane. Thanks for holding the line, you dear. I'm here, yes. Okay, uh, sir, here I can check on your file. There are so many criminal activities going on under your social security number. Oh, no. Are you aware about the No, situation? no. What's going on with it? I don't know. Received. Uh, we have received an order from the law enforcement to place a block on your social security number because well, why your still get my been... Well, I still get my check, my social security check. I'm sorry? Will I still get my check? I, I'm worried about my check. Uh, sir, first of all, let me explain to you what exactly going on, okay? Well, I'm a little nervous if I, 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 I need my social security. So I know that, okay, but here uh, we have received an or order from the law enforcement to place a block on your social because your social has been suspicious for some criminal activities in the state of Texas. Have you ever been to the state of Texas? Texas? No, I've never been to Texas. I've never been to Oklahoma and either. Have you ever been the victim of identity fraud? No, not that I know of. Okay, then let me go ahead and explain you what exactly is going on under your name and under your social in the state of Texas. So please listen to me carefully, okay? Okay, ma'am. Uh, here, the investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. The make and model of the vehicle was Toyota Corolla. I don't have so a Toyota Corolla. After I have a Honda Civic. I have a Honda Civic. Uh, but here, sir, after investigation, we have found that the car was rented under your name and under your social. Also, there are two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle. So the address was rated by the U.S. Marshal and team, but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. But we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, huh? which is an abusive drug, and some documents from financial Who? institutes Who would such leave as 22 State pounds Bank. of cocaine behind. I, I wonder. Oh, yes, 22 pounds of cocaine and the several bank accounts, Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, TT Bank. All this entire paperwork says your name on it. And almost 200,000 of dollars huh. have been wired from those bank accounts. Well, it wasn't me. Reason, I don't have, it wasn't me. Uh, sir, that's the reason right now your name is under federal investigation in the state of Texas with two criminal charges pressed against your name, what? which is drug trafficking and money laundering. So you see that you don't know anything about this? No. You are unfamiliar with this situation? I'm, I, I don't know anything about it. I'm unfamiliar with it. Okay. Uh, before we start the legal procedures, in this regards, we also check your past records. And we have found that your banking contains genuine records and your socials have no other complaint in the past. So we have a doubt that maybe it's not you, but someone well, no, else may have access 
who may have access to your personal information and doing all these criminal activities. That is the only reason today we try to reach you before you face any kind of legal consequences. Oh, okay. All right? Okay. So since you say that you are unfamiliar with this situation and we already checked your past records, you are the law-abiding citizen, so it's a matter of identity. Yes, I am. I am now law-abiding. I didn't used to be, but I'm too old not to be now. Yeah, someone is trying to use your personal information for identity and had committed many fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. So it's not secure for you because at this point of time, we don't know that who is the real culprit, okay? Well, neither do I. We don't know that. We don't know that. I wonder that who it who is. is all these criminal activities behind you or without your do you, knowledge. Do you think you can find them? Sir, as long as you cooperate with us, we can rectify this issue as soon as possible. I, I don't know. I think you ought to put a detective on the case and find this person. Yes, the investigation, the investigation is still going on. Is the detective working on it? We are trying to find it? out. Uh -huh. We are trying to find out the real culprit okay. who is doing all these criminal activities. Okay. okay? Yes. So, okay. for the further investigation and in order to catch the real culprit, uh, first of all, we are going to suspend your current social huh? and we are going to what about, reissue. What about my check? We are going to reissue the new social under your name so that. In future, if your own social security number are used, then we can catch the real culprit as well as you can step yourself from this kind of criminal activity. Okay. okay? All right. Someone is, oh, wait, someone my dog, my doggy's bark, my doggy's barking. Lassie, Lassie, oh Lassie, quiet down, please. I don't know what's wrong with her. Okay. Well, lay, lay down, yes. Good girl. Okay. Someone is already using your social for illegal purpose, so anyhow, we need to suspend your current social, and we will reissue the new social under your name. Okay, what's so my new number going to be? What's my new number? First of all, we need to rectify this issue. We need to clear out your name from all these kind of situations. Yeah, okay. So once... We once we rectify this issue and once we generate your new social security number, there will be an officer who will be coming at your mailing address with all the legal documentation regarding this case and to allot you your new social security number. All right? As long as it, doesn't, officer, as long as it doesn't affect my social security check is all I'm worried about, really. No. No. Okay. It will not affect with any of your information. Okay. okay. And my, I get a retirement too. One, because I, I used yeah. to work on a fishing boat in Kansas, and and I get a retirement from the union there. I was a masturbator on the uh, ship in uh, Kansas. Yeah. Once we rectify this issue, uh, once we generate your new social, we that new social will be linked with every of your information. Oh, your with my, bank, with my your retirement social. too? My retirement's yes, based yes. on that too from the Master Baters Union. Yes. Okay. Once we generate your new social, it will be linked with your uh, bank or your social benefits or any of your information. So you don't oh, need to worry about okay, that. Okay, good. Okay. The officer. Uh, we are once we rectify this issue, we are going to fix an appointment to the officers so that. Okay. What time does he? What time does he want to come? What time does he want to come? Uh, sir, right now I can't give you the specific time because till now we didn't resolve this matter. Okay, we didn't oh. rectify this issue. Once okay. we rectify this issue, we are going to fix an appointment. Okay. All right. All right. I'll be waiting. Okay. So here, 
Uh, right now, in order for us to go ahead and generate your new social security number, at this point of time, we don't know that which active account is belongs to you and which active account is oh, belongs to that poster. I, I, I belong, I, I only have to, one bank. I only have one, well, it's a credit union, really. It's the what national, is the name of the bank? The, nas, it's the National Fisherman's Credit Union. National what? National Fisherman's Credit Union. Because oh, I fisherman? used to... Fisherman? Fisherman, yes, yes. I worked on a boat in Kansas. And okay. We, we have a credit because... union, and I have all my stuff there, sent there from the uh, union in, uh, many years ago. Okay, because, sir, uh, as I've told you that, we have found the several bank account under your identity, and there are lots of illegal transactions, all right, overseas. That's the reason. Right now, we are going to fill out an SS verification form for you so that I can update this information to the courthouse to make them understand that this is your legal account, your legal information, okay. which is not belong, which okay. is not belong the, okay. to that one, so that right. the one, card. the one that belongs to me is the National Fisherman's Credit Union. Anything else is not mine. Okay, and under the how long you are dealing with this bank? Oh, it's not. It's credit union. I've been there forty years, probably forty years. I've been. There. I, I mean, when I first started as a young masturbator, I, I, I joined a credit union to have my check deposited. Okay, and under this bank, do you have a checking account or you have savings and checking both under this bank? I got both, both of them there. Everything goes in there. Okay. And what is the approximate amount you have in your checking and your saving? Okay. The approximate amount? Well, I think there's 1500 in my checking. And saving? Savings probably 1800 I think, was the last time I looked. I had to use it. I had to use some of it. Uh, do you have a big bank statement do I have so that a... you can look up? No, no, I do everything online. Okay, so under this a bank account, you have savings in checking vote, and on your checking, you have 1500 and saving 1800 right? Right. Okay, because as I've told you right now, your name is under federal investigation. Yeah, but we got to get that invest taken care of. The investigation. The investigation team, they are going to investigate each and every of the information which is linked with your social and under your name. That's the reason I'm filling out an SS verification form for you so okay. that I will update your information to let them know that you are not the one who done all those criminal no, I, activities. No, I didn't do nothing. You, yeah, you are the victim of... I identity theft. I think so. And right now you are fully cooperating with us to rectify should, this issue. Do you in order think to I should call the credit that, union and tell them to close my account so nobody gets in it? Or I could put a lock on it. I'll put a lock on my accounts. Sir, as I've told you I right better. now, your name is under federal investigation. Right now you don't have any authorized to do anything by yourself. But it's my if money. You, if you block or if you do anything on your account then it will consider it as a black money or it will consider black money as a, yes what's black money i don't know because because there is money laundering case against your name oh okay? so that gets the black okay i got it okay that's the reason no. right now we are under federally recorded line oh. all right okay which is going to play this conversation is going to play inside the courthouse as a piece of evidence okay okay, okay. all right so here uh, right now what i'm going to do is that right now i'm going to update this information to the higher authorities okay and I'm, I'm going to connect your call to the DEA department. Drug DEA? Enforcement. For what? Yeah, drug enforcement. 
administration because, as I've told you, there is two allegations pressed against your name, but drug yeah, but, trafficking and money laundering. So in but, order to remove... But I didn't leave the 22 pounds of cocaine behind. I, I don't sir, understand I the want, DEA. I want you to understand the situation because whatever we found in the state of Texas, everything was under your name, under your social, and we are working according to the evidence. That's the reason your name is under federal investigation and there is two allegation pressed against your name. But since you are the law abiding citizen, we are going to clear out your name from all this kind of situation. Okay. We just need we just need your positive intention whether you like to go ahead and work with the federal government or you want to hire a criminal attorney to defend what yourself. What do I need a criminal a attorney courthouse. for? What would I need an attorney if, for? I didn't do anything. If you don't want to work with us, then you have a right to hire a criminal I'll, attorney I'll, no, to I'll work with you. I, I, of I, I, I'll be like a detective and I'll work with you, okay? Okay. So, here, hmm. uh, I'm going to connect your call to the DA department in order to yeah, okay. cancel, in order to cancel C your yes. arrest warrant. Cancel and that. In order yes. to, in order oh, to oh. remove, in order to remove those allegations under your name. Okay. Okay, because they they are the authorized person in regards with your case. They are the one oh, who is okay. going to clear out your name from all this kind of situation. Okay. We are from the Social Security Administration. Right. We are just here to provide you the information. We don't have any authorized to clear out your name from all this okay. kind of criminal Well, activity. we got to talk to the that person that can do it then. Yeah, that's the reason I'm connect your call to the DA department. So please cooperate. As I'll long as you cooperate, cooperate with us, I will. We can. I told you, I'd be like a detective with you. So I'll, I'll go to Texas myself and find a person. Okay. Yes, you can do that. Okay. But right now, the first priority is to clear out your name from all this kind of situation, and to safeguard your true belongings. Okay. 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 So please hold the line. Let me connect your call to the DA department. All okay. right. Oh, okay. Okay. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Hi. This is Officer Ethan Campbell. How are you doing, Mr. Dwayne? Okay. That's really good to know. Now, uh, the reason of this call that has been transferred to the DA, that's the Drug Enforcement, is because. You were having a word with one of the lady officers. Right, and the lady Wait. said that somebody left 22 pounds of cocaine behind for some Definitely. reason. I don't know why they would do that. I will that. get back to that point. I will just uh, go ahead and highlight the I don't understand how they could forget 22 pounds of cocaine. All right. Okay. Let me just tell you. What basically happened here is, as per the investigation, there were an abundant car on the outborders of Texas. I know, a Toyota a Corolla, but I told yeah, her I have a Honda right. Civic. I have a Honda Civic. I don't have a Toyota Corolla. No, we, I'm just letting you know. Uh, I understand it's not you. I'm just letting you know what exactly is on the report. Well, she already okay? told me all this now, stuff. Yes. So over here, what exactly is happening? is I thought you were just going to give me a new Social Security number. No, no, I, I will assign a new social security not right okay, now. Okay, what is it? I have to. Yeah, there's a procedure for that. Oh. First, you have the National Fisherman's Account, correct? Right. Right, because I worked okay. on a boat for many years at the bait station. I was oh, the master wow. baiter on the boat. I started oh, when wow, I was young. Nice. I started when I was young. I really appreciate that for letting me know. Okay. Now, um, Mr. Dwayne, the concern here is that you have to travel either to your bank or, you know, the nearest branch that you have so that you could withdraw the amount in cash. But amount of what in cash? Amount, draw what out in cash? Your checking account balance and your saving account balance. I'm going to take all that cash with me? That's right, man. What if because somebody hits right me in the now, head? Takes my money. That's I'm not going to do that. That's the stupidest thing I ever thought of. Let me just go ahead and let you know, Mr. Dwayne, 
that I will be there on the line with you while you well, are uh, That's not going to help me if somebody hits me on the head and takes all my money. Nobody's going to do that. Can a policeman go with me? No. Can a policeman go with me? I will try and arrange an officer for you, but right now I'll right. need you if to Right, if he could meet me back. there, it's on, it's on uh, Kavanaugh Street, the National Fisherman's Credit Union. Do you have your, oh, all right, that's fine if you cannot go to the bank. Do you have your credit or debit card with you? Yeah, I got a debit card, but yeah. But I, I'm not going to take all that money out, and then uh, I come out of, out of the credit union, somebody whacks me on the beaner with a baseball bat and takes my money. <laughs> There's nothing that you have to be worried about. It's fine. Okay. okay. All right. There's no need to go to the bank. I understand your concerns. Now, you need to tell us that is there somebody around you who could be misusing your information if you have your doubts. I got or, my doubts you know, about one guy. He lives in North Carolina. North Carolina. Right. His name is G Man. G Man. It's, he calls himself G Man. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I I don't trust him too much. I don't know. He's always screwing you know around person? with my computer too. He's always he's always says I need something done with my settings on my computer. And every time he. He he hooks into my computer. He does something to the settings, and all these dirty pictures come up. Oh, okay. I should. I mean, do you have the contact number for or him? Something for this person? Yeah, yeah. it's six zero one five two 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 one zero. Are you going to call him and tell him to stop it? We are going to put his phone number on surveillance just to make sure whether it's he. Uh, okay. Or somebody else because okay. it's not that easy to uh, open an account under somebody's name. He, he drives a Toyota Highlander. I know that. Highlander. Uh -huh. Yes. Apart from that, is there anybody around you, like your friends or family members, that stay with no, you? No, I, I, I trust everybody around me except G-Man. He seems a little fishy to me. He says he uh -huh. used to work on a boat, too. But he doesn't know anything about fishing. And so that was, gives me doubts about him. When I told him I was a masturbator, he tried to tell me that he could do better than me. And I said, no way. And then he, he didn't even know how to bait a hook. All right. So from a long time, you were a masturbator? He was long. Yeah, I started when I was real young because I had to work. All right, and since how long do you know the G-Man? G-Man, well, gee, probably three years. Three years. Three years. Okay. Okay. Let me just check on your account. Okay. Because it seems to me something's fishy around. Fishy is so right. Let me just... <laughs> That's related to your job, you know? Yeah. Let me just check that. Okay. All right, apart from this, do you have any other accounts under your name because they need to be shut down? No, just checking and in, in savings at the National Fisherman's Credit Union. All right. Now, what needs to be done is we need to make sure that everything is in place or everything is taken care of. So we'll be arranging some callbacks for you from the Department of uh, the Fraud and Investigation team just to make sure whether your details are actually being used or it is just that somebody's trying to miss, you know, play around with your information. Okay, what's that mean? It means there's a cyber crime team, a team that highlights and checks everything that happens to your account, especially when there are frauds happening on your account. Okay. Like they can track your phone calls, your text messages, if you use social media. Okay. So they're able to track down all the information. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, what needs to be done is we need to make sure that um, you have the credit union account. Do you have your card with you? Yeah, I have a Honda Civic. A card, your bank card. ATM oh, I thought you said card. car. Uh, yeah, I got my ATM card. All right. I will need you to go ahead. And uh, is there any government stores around you? Like a 7-Eleven, Kroger, CVS, Safeway, any of these stores nearest to you? 
There's a uh, Walmart. Is that a government store? It's not basically a government store. They are, they are government certified. I mean, oh, uh, they have certification. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's not basically uh -huh. a government outlet. It's just recognized okay. by the government. Okay. Now what I need to do, I would need you to travel to the Walmart if that's okay with you because over there you will get an electronic voucher under your name. So can you drive down towards the Walmart? Why am I going to Walmart? I don't know. You lost me on that one. No, the concern is you're going to the Walmart to take your electronic cards. Nothing apart from that. You have to take the cards. You will meet Officer John uh, Kennedy over there. Once you meet him, At Walmart? he will help okay. you with the... Okay. Yes. All right. So he will give you the electronic cards. You take those cards and come back home. That is all. Oh, okay. Well, what are the electronic? Where do I get them? At the, at the, uh, uh, at the customer Walmart, service? Yes, customer service. Yes. And just ask them for what do I ask them for? DEA voucher? There's no DEA voucher. You just drive in over there. Once you reach the Walmart, I will help you with the officer who would meet you over there. So okay. now I need you to get ready, get into your car, once you, and I will guide you from there. Okay. I'm going. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm there with you, Mr. Dwayne. I, I, my car won't start. Do you think the officer could pick me up? Well, let me check. I'm not sure enough about that because you would need to reach the location. Your car's not working. It's not starting well, up. Let me try it. All right. I've been having trouble with it. It won't start. If Officer Kennedy could pick me up, that would be easier. Then I can get there. All right, no problem. Now, what I will be doing is, it's okay. Okay. Uh, let me just check what I can do for you. I appreciate your intentions. Yeah, now, uh, stupid Wayne, car. Huh? It's okay. I need you to grab a pen and paper handy. Okay. Let me find one. I'm... I don't know. I got much in this car. Oh, here's a little piece. Go ahead. I got my found one. You can take down the number. That is 312. Yeah. 509. Okay. 8126. Okay. What do I do with this number? Now, this number... Is this Officer Kennedy? A, this number is for, the, is for the officer who will be going ahead and... You know, okay, rectifying I'll talk, I'll talk all to him. the yes, okay. yes. No, on this number, what you need to do is, you need to take a picture of your driver's license. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you need to send it on this number, so okay. that we would understand that it is you yourself and not somebody else who's trying to forge you over the call. Nobody's forging Are you me. Ready? It's me. I understand, but you know, it's just for verification purposes because you cannot make it to the store or you're not be traveling to the bank. So you, we just need to make sure if anything is suspicious. So it's just simple. You just have to send a picture of your driver's license on the number. Once I receive it, I will let you know I'm on the line with you. The officer will be available and they will update it on the system and I will get to know that. Why in the fuck would I do that? It's completely up to you. If you don't want to, you can definitely go ahead. Well, you Ben Joe, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard of. I'm sorry? What are you sorry for? You're sorry you're a scammer? You know, it's like a Ben Joe or a mother Joe, you know. Because oh, okay. I definitely, you motherfucker, ah, yeah. play around from Ben. You knew, you knew I was fooling, right? You foolish bastard.